and welcome to Mo's Life in a Bag and welcome back to a brand new video. If you are new here to my channel, go ahead and press the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post new content here on my channel. If you are already a part of the crew, thank you so much for returning. Well, today is December the 3rd, which means that we have made it to day three of flight miss y'all as y'all can see i am in my kitchen today and i have on my blue apron in today's video we are going to be doing a full honest review slash unboxing of the meal kit delivery service blue apron if you have been following me on my channel for some time now then you know that i did a video very similar to this one except i did it with the meal kit delivery service hello fresh so if you have not watched that video yet go and watch the hello fresh video come back to this one and watch this one because we're going to be seeing like which one i like more go down in the comment section below and let me know if you are team hello fresh or if you are team blue apron because i know it's some of y'all out there that swear by these boxes and i want to know what you guys think we're gonna go ahead and get right into it so i'm gonna get some scissors and get the box open y'all already know your girl is back with the cooking vlog so basically when i did this video with HelloFresh, I opened the box and chose a meal to prepare and did some cooking. We did a little chit chat. It was cool. So that's basically what we are about to get into today. I'm going to pull y'all closer so y'all can get a better look at what we got going on in this box. That is a lot better, right? I got the close up. Okay, box open. Okay, we got some kale, a pepper, blue apron, knickknacks. This is cute. Tomatoes, onion, garlic, y'all. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, blue well, apron. Another bag of knickknacks and a sweet potato. Oh, I like these. I like sweet potatoes, sweet potato fries, yams. I like all that. Um, this little thing is in here, this ice pack or this jelly, whatever it is, to keep the meat cold. So, homeless chicken breast strips, some shrimp. So, these look really good. Okay, Blue Apron. Well, it looks like it's two recipes. All I need now are the recipe cards. Okay. These were on the side of the box. These are the recipe cards. Y'all see that? Okay, you guys. So I have both of the recipe cards in front of me right now and i'm going to read both of them to you the first recipe is veracruz style shrimp and vegetables with lemon farro okay a little shrimp dish so that's the first one and then the second one is tahini chicken and warm kale salad with pickled peppers and roasted sweet potatoes this looks really good. Oh my goodness. I definitely think I'm going to go with this because this looks bomb. I The shrimp dish sounds really good too, honestly. Ugh, I don't know. Let me ask Adrian. Okay, I'm back y'all. So 
Y'all know I said I wanted to make the salad because the salad looks really good. I wanted to do the salad. I went and asked Adrian and he wants to try the shrimp. So y'all go down below and let me know which one y'all think I should pick. I mean, obviously I'm about to pick right now, but I would like to know you guys' thoughts on this. Adrian did make a good point. We just had, like we literally just had kale salad with grilled chicken not too long ago. I'm gonna go with the shrimp. And honestly, y'all, I might still make the salad after this. Just, you know, might do that off camera, so yeah. Cause I'm going to do the Veracruz style shrimp and vegetables with lemon farro. So I'm about to go ahead and separate the ingredients from what I need and what I don't need. I need the garlic. Don't need the sweet potato. Don't need the chicken. I'll make that salad as soon as I'm done with this, y'all, off camera. The first step says to cook the farro. Fill a medium pot three-fourths of the way up with salted water, cover and heat to boiling on high. Now, one thing I do notice with HelloFresh, if I'm not mistaken, they put on their card everything that you would need from the kitchen, like pots or pans or something. Y'all let me know if that's right. It's been a while, like over a year since I did HelloFresh, but I'm pretty sure they let you know what you was gonna need. But I guess Blue Apron is cool. They don't have it listed, but you can see in the pictures like clearly what you're gonna need. And then they tell you like a pot, you no, know, whatever. I'm going to get out a medium pot. Got that. I'm gonna need some salt. this down oh get my measuring cup out three fourths cups of water or three fourths of the way y'all got me in my health fresh video because apparently i didn't i didn't add enough water to the meal that i was cooking so i'm trying to make sure i get this right three fourths of the way up so is that just three fourths of this i don't know i'll put a little bit more okay y'all it's gonna be good i promise it's gonna be good turn to high heat to boiling and add salt so, salted water i'm still gonna put a little bit more water though because that doesn't look like three-fourths way up the pot once boiling add the farro and cook Uncovered for 18 to 20 minutes or until tender, turn off the heat. Need the farro. What is farro? Like, I'd be so confused. What is farro? I guess we got to find out. This is the semi pearl. <laughs> so, this is it. <laughs> Whatever this is. Okay, we're gonna move that out the way. I'm gonna wait for this to boil. We're gonna add this in. And then, yes, yeah, so we're gonna move on to step two, which is to prepare prepare the ingredients. Meanwhile, wash and dry the fresh produce. Half peel and thinly slice the onion. Half the tomatoes, place in a bowl and season with salt and pepper. Using a zester or a small side of a box grater, finally grate the lemon to get one teaspoon, quarter and de-seed the lemon. Cut off and discard the stem of the poblano pepper. Halfing lengthwise, remove the ribs and seeds, then thinly slice crosswise. <laughs> this is the most. <laughs> this is the most. Okay, Blue Apron. I need my cutting board. So we just go get this right here. And I'm going to wash all of this off, y'all, and get this started. I know y'all don't want to see all of this. But I'm gonna come back once I got all the produce cut up and stuff, and I'll let y'all see what I got going on then. Okay, so I just wanted to show y'all that my water is boiling and I'm about to add in the farro. I wanted y'all to see this on camera. So y'all wouldn't miss me doing steps. So we're gonna go ahead and add in the farro. It says to let it cook in the boiling water for 18 to 20 minutes. I'm going to set my timer on my microwave for 20 minutes and we're gonna let it boil. As y'all can see over here, I've already started cutting up the vegetables. All 
right, y'all, so I am back and I have all of the vegetables sliced and diced and quartered and seasoned. And can y'all see that? I got everything ready. Give y'all this view as well. So y'all can see what we got. So I have the tomatoes seasoned with salt and pepper, sliced and peeled the onion, de-seeded the lemon, quartered the lemon. I got the lemon zest, of course, and then the poblano pepper and the jalapeno pepper set to cut halfways, thinly slice, and then dice into these little bitty pieces. And then this is the farro, you guys. After I boiled it until it was tender, turned off the heat and drained the liquid that was in here, this is what I got. So I said to just put this back in the pot and set this to the side. So that's ready. Now we are going to move on to step three, which is to prepare the shrimp and start the sauce. Pat the shrimp dry with paper towels. Remove the tails if desired. In a large pan, heat two teaspoons of olive oil on medium high until hot. Add the sliced onion, sliced poblano pepper, season with salt and pepper, cook stirring occasionally three to four minutes or until softened. Okay, Blue Apron, so I see that y'all really, really like salt and pepper too. It's like the only two seasonings that are needed. And it was the same thing with HelloFresh. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the shrimp. And I'm going to wash these off and take the tails off and everything off camera. And then I'll be right back and show y'all what it looks like. Y'all, I am back. Look at this shrimp. It looks so good. Uh, look at it. <laughs> that shrimp. <laughs> Nerves. Okay, these look really pretty, y'all. So we about to start on this step in a large pan, which I got out. Heat two teaspoons of olive oil on medium high until hot. So we're gonna put that on medium high and get the olive oil. Let's open this one. Add the olive oil. Heat two teaspoons of olive oil. That's one. That's two. Basically, what I'm gonna do is just move this around so the olive oil can cover the entire bottom of the pan. And then once it gets a little bit hotter, I'm gonna go ahead and add the veggies that it says to add. It says to add the onion and the sliced poblano pepper. So we're gonna toss in the onion, toss in the poblano pepper, season with salt and pepper, blue apron, y'all love salt and pepper. Okay, that's enough. Not too much salt, y'all. Pepper. I'm bring y'all in closer. So y'all can see what I'm doing. I seasoned it with salt and pepper and I'm just about to stir it up. And once the pan gets a little bit hotter and it starts cooking, that's when I'm gonna set the timer for four minutes because it says that it's supposed to cook for three to four minutes. This did not take long to heat up and start cooking, stir this up. Oh, it smells really good, y'all. And I was just telling y'all in the flightness day one that everybody needs onions in their pantry, either red, white, or yellow. But in my video, I called it a purple onion, which it is a purple onion, but technically it's a red onion. Okay, y'all, that is the timer. Add the seasoned tomatoes, oregano, raisins, capers, one fourth cup of water, and as much of the diced jalapeno pepper as you'd like. Bring y'all back in, because I want y'all to see what I'm doing. 
Add in the tomatoes that I seasoned with salt and pepper. We're gonna add in, which is in here. Cut that open. Put that in there. Oregano is strong too, right? I think oregano has a really strong flavor. I'm not gonna lie y'all, I do not like raisins. Honestly, I don't, but hopefully this comes together. I feel like it's gonna come together. It's gonna have really good flavor. And then the capers, we're gonna add those in. So that's everything from the bag of knickknacks. One fourth cup of water, oh dear. <laughs> Make sure I, I put enough water in here. One fourth cup. Oh, I pray that is enough water because if it's not, y'all going to get me. And as much of the diced jalapeno pepper as you'd like. Half. Well, that's a little bit more than half, but we're going to set this to the side. Season with salt and pepper. Can't forget the salt and the pepper. I mean, really though, y'all, I, I know y'all be using like other seasonings than just salt and pepper for the people who like using these boxes. Well, I guess there's some oregano in there. So that's that's another season. Cook stirring frequently and pressing down on the tomatoes with the back half of a spoon, three to four minutes or until slightly softened. So we're gonna set another timer for four minutes to pat the tomatoes down. Blue Apron, y'all doing the most. Hold on. <laughs> like what? Pat the tomatoes down the most. Uh... Well, y'all, I'm patting them down. <laughs> I cannot wait to see the end result of this meal. If I got any chefs watching me right now, y'all, please don't come for me. Okay. Actually, patting down the tomatoes flat really got this looking like something. Look, y'all. <laughs> look how it look with the tomatoes patted down. So I'm gonna stir this up, and then as soon as the timer goes off, y'all, I'm gonna be right back. So we're gonna turn that off. This has been cooking for three to four minutes, and it's kind of created like some sort of sauce that smells really good. We are moving on to step four. Place the prepared shrimp in an even layer on top of the sauce, season with salt and pepper. Loosely cover the pan with foil and cook without stirring for two to three minutes or until the shrimp is slightly opaque. I am super excited because we're finally about to cook the shrimp. And obviously uh, the shrimp is the main attraction of the show. So we um, Put these in an even layer. I have been enjoying my Blue Apron experience so far. Y'all let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Season with salt and pepper once more. Cause I haven't put any seasoning on the shrimp actually. This is my first time putting seasoning on the shrimp. So we're gonna go light on the salt and a little bit heavier on the pepper. So I already have some foil over here. We're just gonna loosely cover up the skillet. Like this. Two to three minutes, so we're gonna set timer for three minutes. And we're gonna let that cook without stirring. We're gonna remove the foil. Ooh, those look like they're cooked like perfectly. Okay, we'll stir this up a little bit. Ooh, y'all, this smells really good. Well, I know y'all want a closer look. Hold on, hold on. So y'all can see this, cause this looks really good. Yum. Oh, it's gonna be spicy too, y'all, cause I actually added the rest of the diced jalapenos in there. I didn't do it, I did it off camera, but I added in the second half of the diced jalapenos, so this is definitely gonna have 
a little kick to it. Okay, it says to turn off the heat. So we go. Turn off the heat and stir in the juice of two lemon wedges. Taste, then season with salt and pepper if desired. So I got this little guy that we all know and love. But I'm just trying to figure out how do I do this? Cause they're, maybe I can just stick it in there like that. Cause I quartered them. So we're gonna stir in that. The heat is off. So we're gonna set this here and then we are going to move on to the very last step, y'all. Step five, the very last step is to the pot of cooked farro, add the lemon zest and two teaspoons of olive oil, season with salt and pepper to combine. Okay, so we're gonna put the lemon zest in here. Still got my olive oil out. So we're gonna add this in. One, two. Season with salt and pepper, of course. Boom. Stir to combine. So I kept my spoon in here that I used when I was boiling the farro. And I am very, what's this gonna taste like, quinoa? Or is it gonna taste more like rice? Serve the cooked shrimp and sauce over the finished farro. Serve the remaining lemon wedges on the side and enjoy. I guess you don't reheat the farro. It doesn't say anywhere to reheat it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a plate so y'all can see. Farro down first. Okay. I guess you spread it out a little bit on the plate. Put this over the top, the shrimp sauce. And then it says to serve with a which okay you guys so i'm going to show y'all up close this is the picture and this is what it looks like so this is the crew style shrimp and vegetables served with a lemon wedge doesn't that look yummy you guys Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video, Flight Miss Day 3, with the unboxing and my honest review of Blue Apron. Y'all, I had a really pleasant experience using Blue Apron today. And like I said, if you guys are Team Blue Apron, go down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on this meal that I prepared y'all, I am gonna dive into this off camera. So in the next video, I'm gonna have to let y'all know how everything tastes. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Flightness Day 4. Bye.